Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome to the fifth day of my week featuring Penny Black. For today I am going to create a winter card which is uh, clean and simple and I will be using this uh, adorable die set by Penny Black which is called Around Town. By using this die you can cut out little houses and create your own village. So I am uh, using uh, white cardstock and I am running it uh, through my Sizzix machine and I will be die cutting two or three times because at uh, this stage I don't really know how many houses and uh, uh, little elements from these uh, dies I want to use. So I have uh, a few houses, I have cut out one church, uh, some snowflakes and a few little bits and pieces which I will be using on my card later. I will emboss all those die cuts using this uh, wonderful uh, wow embossing powder. It is called Silent Night and I just love all uh, the glitter. So I am smoothing all those uh, little die cuts on my Versamarca ink pad, making sure that they are nice and juicy. And then I will apply my embossing powder and heat set everything. Now that I have all those little houses ready, I am going to work on my card base. This is a white cardstock panel which is slightly smaller than a standard card and I will be using at the center this circle die. I am going to run it through my Sizzix machine and although it looks like I am going for a shaker card, I won't be making a shaker card today. I have also prepared two uh, little panels out of uh, this white cardstock which are going to make the snow bugs for my little scene. And I will be using lots of uh, foam tape at the back of uh, each panel since I want to add dimension on this card. The idea is to create different layers where I will be sticking uh, the little houses and I can create a dimensional village. As always, you can find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using just below the video in the description area, as well as on my blog. I am using uh, some white glue to stick uh, the houses in place, but you will see that it will switch into my tape runner later on since I found that it was uh, so much easier. After all, I, am, uh, always, I don't have the patience to wait for uh, the glue to dry. And just because I have so many layers for the village, I need to double up in some areas on a foam tape so that I have uh, everything nicely leveled. Uh, that's what I am doing here at the top panel. And of course at this stage if you are recreating the card you can uh, turn it into a shaker card. So you could add acetate and uh, just add as many uh, sequins as you like. And what is great about turning this uh, type of design into a shaker card is that it would make it look as if it was a snow globe. Finally, I am going to use some more die cuts such as the snowflakes and uh, the little horse and I am sticking everything down with a gel medium. I have my gel medium in uh, this fine tip uh, applicator and uh, it really makes my work easy. I am going to emboss my sentiment and uh, the bottom of uh, this panel and I will be using the same embossing powder that I used for all those little houses. Now I should have done this um, 
at a, a previous stage, but I totally forgot about it. So I am going to be very precise and very careful, so I will not mess up what I have already created. For my card base I have used the same light uh, blue as my background and I am sticking uh, the panel on top. This is a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and the main panel is slightly smaller so you can see the nice border that I have all around. And you can see here how thick the card is. So here are all the five cards that I made this week while I was featuring Penny Black products. So I hope you had fun and got inspired and if you did don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close up photos of today's card. And here are the rest of the cards that I made this week. You can click on any of the videos to watch it or if you are watching from a mobile device you can find all the links to these videos just below in the description area or you can click the info button that just popped on your screen. Thank you all for watching!